<risa> Buenas noches, hermanos y hermanas. Muchas gracias por estar aquí. I know, I know we all have struggles. Uh, the enemy knows how to attack. Yo sé que todos tenemos eh, dificultades y el enemigo sabe cuándo atacarnos. But, praise God that God is with us. Amen. Gracias a Dios que Dios está con nosotros. And if we lean on Him, then we can do it. Y si, nos, y si confiamos en Él, tenemos la victoria. This has been in my heart. Um, some of you are going to kind of listen to the message I shared this Sunday. So with a little twist. Oh, okay, que algunos de ustedes ya han escuchado este mensaje. Lo escucharon el, este pasado domingo. Pero este es, el, es algo que yo le agregué un poco más. La verdad, es un It's in my heart because I believe that we are living in the last days. Y esto está en mi corazón porque yo creo que estamos viviendo los últimos tiempos. And we know that a few months back we've gone through some earthquakes. Y sabemos que hace un par de meses tuvimos varios eh, temblores. And those are some signs. Y esos son señales. Of the return of Christ. Del regreso de nuestro Señor. And then a few months back also we noticed that in the theaters they were showing the movie Noah's Ark. Y hace un par de meses también vimos uh, una película que era el arca de Noé. So this kind of stirred up in my heart because if we go to Matthew 24, chapter 24, 37 to 39, y esto me movió a, a ir a Mateo 24, 24 al 39. 37 al 39. Y dice, 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 Marrying and giving it to Mary until the day that Noah entered the ark, and they did not understand until the flood came and took them all away. So will the coming of the Son of Man be. Amen. Amen. I'll read in Spanish. Pero en cuando el día y la hora nadie lo sabe, ni siquiera los ángeles en el cielo ni el hijo sino el Padre. La venida del Hijo del Hombre será como en el tiemp los tiempos de Noé, porque en los días antes del diluvio comían, bebían, se casaban y daban a casamiento, hasta el día en que Noé entró en el arca, y no supieron nada de lo que sucedería hasta que llegó el diluvio y se los llevó a todos. Así será la venida del Hijo del, del Hombre. Uh -huh. So... Just as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be. Now, if we go to Genesis chapter 6, ahora, como dice, eh, como eran los, de, los tiempos de Noé, entonces si vamos a, ahora regresamos a Genesis, we're going to read Genesis 1, 6, 1 to 7. Vamos so, a, leer, a leer Genesis 1 al 6 y 1 al 7. So we have to kind of look how they were living in those days. What was going on in those days? Porque tenemos que regresar, porque como dice, como fue en los días de Noé, entonces tenemos que regresar a ver cómo vivían en ese tiempo. And as the psalmist says, there's nothing new under the sun. Y como dice en el salmo, no hay nada, no hay nada nuevo bajo el cielo. We are human. Somos humanos. And it is our nature. Y está nuestra naturaleza. To act the way we act. Actuar de la manera que actuamos. Now, It says uh, that in Noah's days they were eating and drinking, getting into marriage, and that just kind of sounds like uh, today, right? Just a regular, ordinary day. Sí. Now, I kind of reflected because when is the season that we're mostly busy? I mean, we're always busy, but certain seasons we're like real busy. 
Uh, dice, dice el hermano que, que es como en el tiempo de Noé, que dice que estaban casando y dando en casamiento y, llevan, y haciendo negocios. Entonces que esto le llamó la atención, que se preguntaba a él, entonces, que ¿cuál es la, la temporada en que estamos más ocupados? ¿Cuál es la temporada que, que a pesar de todo nos, nos ponemos más ocupados? ¿Cuál es la holiday que es la más aquí en América? Christmas, right? You all like Christmas? <laughs> la temporada en que estamos más ocupados es en la Navidad. Who likes to go at, Who likes to go to the mall during Christmas? Why not? <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe my sisters do, but I know the, the men don't because it's busy, traffic, sí. long lines. Sí, como sabemos todos, en la temporada de Navidad siempre hay Pilas, hay mucho tráfico, congestiones por todos lados. And in how many of us are expecting God to come back on Christmas? ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos de nosotros estamos esperando que Dios regrese, que Jesús regrese en la Navidad? Because we're not like sitting and, and waiting and going like, oh, the Lord is coming back soon. He's coming today, right? We're like, we're at Bourbons or Coles or, you know, at some mall and for the wife and we're like oh we got to get this present and oh we have to go to this dinner and we have to go to this Christmas party that's what's running through our mind. Y en esa época nadie está pensando en el regreso del Señor. Todo el mundo todos estamos pensando es en los regalos, en el regalo para este, para el otro, pero no estamos pensando en el regreso de, de Jesús. But it says no one knows the day or the hour. Pero dice la escritura, nadie sabe el día ni la hora. The angels don't know. Ni los ángeles saben. And it says that not even Jesus, even though he's God, you know, but not even Jesus. It's only the Son of, only the, only the Father knows. Y dice también que no, no, no lo sabe ni Jesús, que es el Hijo, sino solamente el Padre lo sabe. So now it says, Genesis 6.1, Now it came about when men began to multiply on the face of the land, And daughters were born to them. So they were multiplying. Is this world full of population to this day? Yeah. It's packed, right? That the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves, whomever they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, because he also is flesh. Nevertheless, His day shall be 120 years. The Nephilims were on the earth in those days and also afterward. When the Son of God came to the daughters of men, they bore children to them. Those were the mighty men who were of old men of renown. Then the Lord saw, then the Lord saw that the, that the wickedness of man was great on the earth and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. The Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. The Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, from man to animal to creeping thing and to birds of the sky, for I am sorry that I have made them, but Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. So it speaks about the sons of God. And it speaks about the daughters of men. Entonces aquí habla de los hijos de Dios y de las hijas de los hombres. Now I believe here that the sons of God is the church. It's the chosen ones. Those that he died for. Those that have accepted him. These are the sons of God. Some people believe that they were angels. Sí, yo, en mi opinión, yo creo que esto, lo que dice los hijos de Dios, en mi opinión, son, somos nosotros, la iglesia, los hijos de Dios. Aunque algunas personas dicen que eran ángeles. And then it speaks about the daughters of men. It says that the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful. Luego dice que los hijos de, los, de Dios vieron que las hijas de los hombres eran hermosas. 
Does this happen today? Esto está sucediendo hoy. Do men and women that are in church that, that Christ has died for want to get married and they look out there and get attracted and want to marry? Yo pregunto si está sucediendo aquí también en, en, en este tiempo en la iglesia, si también los hijos de Dios y las, y las hijas del hombre también están buscando y mirando al, al, al unos, unos a, a los otros. The word of God says that we are a royal priesthood, a chosen nation. We are separate. We are separated for a him, a jealous God. Sí, dice la palabra que Dios, nosotros somos, estamos aparte. Dios nos ha separado del mundo. Somos escogidos aparte del mundo. And I believe that we are in, these, in those days that there is no distinction from believers to unbelievers in these days. Y yo creo que estamos viviendo en los tiempos en que no hay distinción entre creyentes y no creyentes. For people out there, it's hard to say he's a Christian. Or he's not a Christian. It is not about I carry a Bible. It's not about that I call myself a Christian, or I go to church on Sunday, or I have a sticker on my bumper. Sí, y que es no no es es di, es difícil que hay personas les queda difícil diferenciar entre quién es un cristiano y quién no es un cristiano que no se sabe distinguir quién es y quién no, y quién no es un cristiano y no es y no es porque tengan una Biblia o que venga y, o que atendan a una iglesia. Now we read if you, when you go home read chapter Genesis chapter 6, which we just read chapter 6 verses 1 through 9 and read it. And I truly believe that the reason why God destroyed earth in those days of Noah was because his children in her midst there was no holiness. Sí, yo les... They were one. And the, we cannot be one with the world. There has to be a distinction. We are His. Sí, yo, yo les pido que cuando lleguen a casa lean el capítulo 6 de Génesis y, que, y yo creo que Dios destruyó al mundo en ese tiempo porque en ese tiempo no había di diferencia entre los hijos de Dios y el mundo ellos se mezclaron se mezclaron con el mundo y entonces no había diferencia entre los hijos de Dios los escogidos y el mundo Our God is a jealous God a holy God a God that gave the Son. Nuestro Dios es un Dios celoso, un Dios que nos quiere para Él y un Dios que dio a su Hijo por nosotros. Amen. And we know that Scripture says, can two walk if they walk in disagreement? Y como dice la Escritura, ¿pueden, pueden dos caminar juntos y estar en desacuerdo? It also says, Do not be unequally yoked. También dice que no se unan, eh, ¿cómo, ¿cómo dice? Que no se unan con... Eh, Chugo. Chugo es igual. Chugo es igual. Y también dice que no, se, no podemos servir a dos señores. Chugo es igual. Es igual. Y también dice que no, se, no podemos servir, servir a dos maestros. Y también dice que no se puede servir a dos maestros. Y también dice que no se puede servir a dos maestros. Y también dice que también dice que estamos en el mundo, pero no somos del mundo. God bought us. We are His. With His blood, which we did not deserve. Porque Dios nos compró, Él pagó por nosotros con su sangre. We are His. And we are to keep ourselves 
in humbleness with the Holy Spirit to be pure. Sí, y pertenecemos a Él, porque Él nos Él pagó por nosotros, somos de Él, y debemos ahora caminar como si fuéramos, si perteneciéramos realmente a Él. When we come together on Sundays, it, uh, I think it breaks our hearts sometimes, or sometimes. Because, as I mentioned, sometimes it's hard to say, are they really serving God? And I'm not trying to judge here, because I have to examine myself. Are we just being religious, or are we really having a relationship with Christ? Are we really living for Him daily? Not just when we want to, but He died for us. We have no say. But as Pastor Hector preaches Sunday, because he loved us, he gave us free will. And in our free will, we have to demonstrate our love to him. Amen. Amen. Y dice, dice nuestro hermano que no es para juzgar, sino esta escritura nos sirve para cada uno de nosotros nos, nos evaluemos. Y nos evaluemos para darnos cuenta si realmente estamos sirviendo a Dios o no, si estamos en el mundo o estamos con Dios, porque este tiempo es como en el tiempo de Noé, tenemos que regresar y servir a Dios con todo nuestro corazón. The day is closed, the signs are everywhere. He is coming soon. Are we ready? Sí, el día está cerca y las señales están en todas partes. So, la pregunta es, ¿estamos listos? Let's humble ourselves and keep ourselves pure for the Lord. Entonces, bueno, te, seamos humildes y estemos preparados para la venida del Señor. Amen. God bless you, brothers and Amen. sisters. Amen. 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 Well, When I asked Brother David what is the title of this preaching, he said the big one. <laughs> It's not about the earthquake, but the second coming of Christ. Amen. 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 Sí, dice okay. Pastor. Uh, okay. Oh no no sorry. <laughs> no dice que cuando le preguntó al hermano David que era, cuál era su tema, él le dijo oh el grande el grande, <laughs> pero la grande venida del Señor. Eso es. Pastor. Uh, Yay. All right, before we close, um, can we just declare God's goodness and healing and love and mercy and grace upon Sister Rochelle and also just declare victory um, for Pastor uh, Dolores and the ministry that God brought into her heart for all these uh, women that need love and grace and mercy out there, protection and safety for her as well. Um, so, um, Brother Ben, Vicente, I want you to pray for Sister uh, Pastor Dolores. Um, Sister Elena, can we pray for? Yes, yeah. And then, um, any other special prayers, guys? Quito, Martin. Can we pray for uh, Brother Lemuel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and Lisa, and Lisa's Lisa's husband. husband. Yes. So uh, I'll pray for Lisa's husband. Um, I pray for brother. And then close us up, if you don't mind. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. um, did you that first? Can we lay hands on them yourself, guys? <coughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, we come unto you. Lord, that in your spirit will come inside of yourself, Lord. Lord, keep her strong. Keep her minister, Lord. Help her. Keep her. Guide her. In so many ways, you Lord, that you can all thank you in God, you Lord. For the support of her husband and the father. Me 
видят на
Lord, I thank you that there's no confusion in that family. There's no fear. There's no anxiety in the name of Jesus. For there's peace, Lord God. There's joy. Even the presence of joy in that place, Lord God, because they're turning to you. They're seeking you. Lord, she said that I can only go so far with my strength. But I, I told her, as the Spirit of God told me, that's enough of your strength, but it's my strength now that you got to depend on us. Lord, I thank you that even today, Lord God, there's just such peace in her when she's 